and staring at your marriage today. Huh? Congratulations, Louie and Lily. Oh my God. <laughs> I can't think, I can't help thinking about what brought you here today until Jason uh, pick up that picture, June 5, 2012. I'm so proud of the choices you've made as well as your accomplishments. I could vividly recall when I watched your desk picking the part in the Philippines. The sadness in your eyes because you are about to leave your comfort zone. I could remember in one of our chats before your trip, all your questions on your trip. I know there was fear in you that you are about to travel alone. And because you you have, I booked you at a non-direct flight to the US. I have to convince you eventually that you will have to travel and you have to try it now. And you have to experience it. I have to ask you to watch on YouTube videos and some travelers so that you will have an knowledge of some airports and on I think in Taiwan. Yeah, that's what I asked you to do. So you will know yourself on how to do it. As a good son, you listen and follow. But honestly, mom got no budget for a direct flight. <laughs> Seriously, you have been a very good son. Your siblings, Grace and Jill, accused me of pampering you too much. <laughs> I got my reasons. <laughs> of all my kids, I was only able to hold you 13 days after you came into this world. <laughs> or you were left to the hospital because you need some special care. Age zero to seven, if only there were rewards being given by hospitals just like airlines frequent flyer, I could have gotten the, di the highest reward because you are a frequent patient. Probably a diamond member. Before you turned seven, you had three convulsions attack in a day. We were in the hospital and you were sleeping all day. And I ask everyone, my friends, my neighbors, I knock on everybody's heart to, to pray for you. As you were on the bed, I stared at you and whispered to your ear, fight Gus, God is with us, but you need to fight. By the way, his original name was Gus till somebody told me to change his name, so I did. And that was his last episode. <laughs> well, even my best friend Linda accused me of that, that you're my favorite, but I said, no. I just want to raise a good son that will make him a good man and later on be a good husband. Louis, I may not carry you anymore in my arms, but I will always carry you in my heart. To Lily. When Lou introduced you to us, knowing his past girlfriends in the Philippines, I said to myself, <laughs> okay, my son's here it comes. Case is improving a lot. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Seriously, Lily, I fell in love with you when we had our vacation in Cebu. I am a shopaholic. I admit it. I can shop till everyone drops. Wait, I saw you, your eyes drooping because of jet lag. You even fell asleep on a chair waiting for us to finish our shopping. And the only thing that you bought was Joey's. Uh, a little sweater for Joey. Yeah, sweater for Joey. <laughs> and she lost it. Because she's so tired, she left it on a chair. And when I said, okay, let's go. And she immediately like followed us. And then I didn't hear any single complaint any attitude at all. She was always wearing her sweet smile all throughout our visit. And I said, wow, this is somebody. I said, you are so different. You know we, you know we love to eat even after lunch. We had to eat merienda that is in between <laughs> meals in the Philippines. As my husband said, we, in the Philippines, we eat six times a day. <laughs> Breakfast, merienda, lunch, merienda, dinner, midnight snack. <laughs> and you know, my eldest daughter also is always hungry, drag us to the nearby restaurant to eat. Grace and Jill 
please, uh, will ask you to try this, try this, try this. Even though I know she's not hungry because we just ate lunch, <laughs> she will try it. Yeah, it's good. <laughs> she's that nice, so nice. <laughs> you can't even like say anything, like no, nothing at all. She just smiled and say, yeah, it's good. <laughs> Louie and Lily, marriage is not a sprint. It is a marathon. There will be hiccups, bumps along the way. Hold each other's hands, enjoy each step, pray, be selfless, give more, love more. I won't be able to witness your 25th, 50th, or even 75th anniversary. But Louie and Lily, you will always be in my heart and will watch for me. I love you guys. Woo! Woo!